Hello everyone and welcome back to 9 to 5 Linux. We will dive into the latest in open source software, Linux distributions and tech updates. Today, we are talking about some exciting news from the Debian project. The release of Debian 13.3 codename Trixie, along with an update for the older stable version, Debian 12.13 Bookworm. If you are a Debian user, a system administrator or someone interested in reliable Linux operating systems, this is worth paying attention to. I'll break it down step by step, explaining what's new, why it matters, and how you can take advantage of these updates. So, let's get started. First off, a quick refresher for those new to Debian. Debian is one of the oldest and most respected free and open source Linux distributions out there. It's known for its rock-solid stability, vast package repositories, and commitment to free software principles. Many popular distros like Ubuntu are based on Debian. The project releases major versions every couple of years, followed by point releases that focus on fixing bugs and patching security issues without introducing big changes. Now on the main event, Debian 13.3 Trixie was officially released on January 10th, 2026. This is the third point release since Trex's initial debut back in August 2025. Point releases like this aren't about flashy new features. They're all about maintenance. Specifically, this update packs in dozens of security patches and bug fixes to keep your system secure and running smoothly. From what I gathered from the official Debian announcements and tech websites, Debian 13.3 addresses around 37 security vulnerabilities and over 100 miscellaneous bug fixes across various packages. These aren't minor tweaks, they include critical updates to core components. For example, the first point, the Linux kernel has been bumped to version 6.12, incorporating upstream stable fixes to improve hardware compatibility and performance. Now, the number two, packages like Apache Web Server, Image Magix for image processing, and PostgreSQL database have received patches for issues like integer overflows, denial of service vulnerabilities, and potential code execution risk. Now, number three. Other notable updates include fixes for GNOME's Mutter Window Manager to prevent crashes, EDK2 firmware for better security against side channels attacks, and time zone adjustments for regions like Argentina and Ukraine. These changes ensure that Trixie remains a secure choice for servers, desktops, and even embedded systems. If you are planning a fresh install, the new ISO images are optimized for this, meaning you won't have to download hundreds of updates right after the setup. Supported architectures include 64-bit x86, which is AMD64, ARM64, RISC-V, or Risk V, PowerPC, and more, with limited legacy support for 32-bit systems. Debian also offers live images for testing without installations, preloaded with popular desktop environments. You can try out setups with KDE Plasma, GNOME, XFC, Cinnamon, LXQT, MAT, LXD, or even the lightweight IceWM on the new junior edition aimed at simpler workflows. If you're already running Debian 13, updating is straightforward. Just open a terminal and run sudo apt update and sudo apt full upgrade. Or use a graphical tool like Synaptic if you prefer. No need to reinstall. These updates integrate seamlessly. But that's not all. On the same day, the Debian team rolled out Debian 12.13 for the Bookworm series which is now considered old stable. This is the 13th point release since Bookworm's launch in June 2023. And it's designed for users who need extended support without jumping to the newer Trixie. Bookworm will receive full support until mid-2026 and long-term support until 2028, making it ideal for production environments where stability trumps the latest features. This update includes a similar focus on security and reliability, with patches for about 85 vulnerabilities and close to 100 bug fixes, 
which is based on reports from reliable sources. Key highlights. First one, security fixes for tools like Git, Samba file sharing, and Squid proxy server, addressing things like the file overrides, information leaks, and denial of service attacks. Number two, updates to the kernel version 6.1, open SSL for encryption, and packages like Clam AV antivirus, which got a new long-term support release. Now, number three, some packages like certain antivirus modules were rebuilt or even removed on specific architectures to resolve compatibility issues. Again, if you're on the bookworm, update via APT as mentioned earlier. Fresh installs can grab the updated ISOs from the Debian's website. Now, why does all this matter? In a world where cyber threats are constant, this point releases keep your data safe without disrupting your workflow. Debian's approach emphasizes through testing. So you can trust these updates won't break things. Whether you're running a home server, a development machine, or contributing to open source projects, staying current is key. If you're curious about your current Debian version, just type cat fullen slash etc fullen slash Debian under scroll version. In the terminal, it will tell you right away. That's the scoop on Debian 13.3 and 12.13. If you have questions or want a tutorial on installing Trixie, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more Linux news. Thanks for watching. Stay secure out there.